Hashtag let men wear bras. Welcome to man. Oh, I can hide the mouse down here. Okay, cool. Uh, welcome to part nine of the uh, Jack and Daxter precursor legacy playthrough. Uh, I was like, it's one of these parts. I know. Um, <laughs> it's some kind of number. <laughs> It's one of these numbers. Oh, I see what you mean by well, the single jump is so unreliable. It's just so I tiny. know. Yeah, it does kind of look it, like it, garbage. <laughs> uh huh. That's why that I am just always baffled by Jack's movement in this game. Oh, you you triple jump? Okay. Yeah, like the double jump spin is legitimately good, and the high jump is good as well. Um, but that's really it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be honest. I kind of feel the same way when I'm playing like any DMC game. I always feel like I need to double jump or I'm gonna fucking miss the the platforming. That yeah, that's um how DMC has always had it because it's been like a really high jump and then a dinky little double double jump, <laughs> but there's like no vertical like horizontal movement to it rather. There, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I've definitely felt it when I've played uh, the DMC games that I've played. Dude, I've got like videos of people playing 4 with its like, with its engine, and I'm like, damn, that fucking DMC 4 engine is fucked. Because oh. it, ha it actually uses inertia, like, mo like movement speed, to kind of see mm. how fast you're going. And some people are able to like go from one speed to one side to the other like a fucking psychopath. Like oh, they're on really? cocaine, wow. yeah. You know, I was thinking of people breaking games, I also just been really into watching speedruns. Uh, speedruns of what? Whatever. Uh, I just like people seeing break the game. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, I do enjoy my uh, eight second uh, Mario 64 speedrun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Specifically, Mario 64 speedruns have made me realize how, like, how uh, that game is really held together by shoestrings and hope. <laughs> I mean, it was like what the main, the flagship game for the N64. Yeah, it was like one of the very first 3D platformers of its yeah, time. Yeah, I, I think it was the first like 3D, like like 3D I, platform, I probably 3D game in general. <laughs> we got an achievement. It's not exactly true, but but that was uh, the and, first Mario 3D platformer. Yes, that is that that part is true. Yes, but, um, which means yeah. that they the the Mario team, not the town team, was definitely working on. Not bar time, but like, but not not working as optimally as they could have been. Did not have the optimal conditions to work in. Yeah, like they didn't like because yeah, since they're the first, like um, the there were no like codified mechanics as to how like a three D platformer should work at that time. Yeah, and also we had the shitty ass N sixty four controller. <laughs> That's not exactly a part of the shortcomings of Mario 64. It's not, um, but it doesn't help. Sure, yeah. Mario? <laughs> yeah, there's, 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 there's a lot of weird oddities with Mario 64. <laughs> Like I saw a video First of someone sure. talking about like the like it, like you might have seen in like videos or like speed runs where or like there's someone's like platform and then they, they just get hit by like some random like invisible wall or whatever. <laughs> and I saw a video of someone <laughs> explaining why that happens. <laughs> you know, oh, really? I saw a different video where it was literally called I spent like ten years uh, refining that N64 Mario N64 code. Huh. Oh. It was so weird because they had completely like remodified the game. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. He fixed it. He tried. <laughs> us when Project 06 came out, they fixed <laughs> it. They fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> impossible. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. 
I can't wait for the fan the fan mod of a uh, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. <laughs> that would be <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that would go crazy because it. We need to have a fan no. base first. Nobody likes oh, Boom right, no yeah, Rise of Lyric. Right, yeah, It needs to have a fan base first. <laughs> But unfortunately, all Sonic Boom fans are currently watching the TV show again. What? Well, the TV show is actually good. The, the TV show is like yeah. the only good thing about the Sonic Boom brand. <laughs> yeah. And that's why all Sonic Boom fans are just rewatching the TV show for the millionth time. Because yeah, they'd I... rather do that than touch any of the games <laughs> yeah. again. I think, I think what might need to happen instead of do, like doing a remake of of like one of the Sonic Boom games, we just someone someone needs to make like a fan game that's based on like the TV show. The TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can't wait to my my daily RPG quest of going to Mad Burger every day. <laughs> 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 And fighting Dave the intern. <laughs> they, make it, they make it like a gotcha system. Oh where god. Like, <laughs> where like when you go uh when they're releasing like episodes or some shit. When you play the game you don't know what level you're gonna play. You just like uh -huh. press play. And then, like it just <laughs> fucking shoots you to a random level. <laughs> Sonic Boom the roguelite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy, the shadow episode. <laughs> Finally, I've been waiting so long for this one. It's funny with the release of the uh oh the Sonic God, what movie about trailer. The episode when Eggman turned into Sonic. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that episode. Would that would that episode would go hard. Um not for uh, maybe for all the good reasons. Maybe not. Um, I'm sorry, these fruit snacks have a trading card? I know. Uh, it was funny with snacks? the release of the, uh, the Sonic 3 uh, movie trailer. Um, people have now made compilations of Tails getting bodied by Shadow because it happens <laughs> in every single media. <laughs> it's happened in every single media now. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever shadows and tail are on screen, I said that the other way around. I called shadow the plural and tails the singular. Uh, <laughs> shadows and tail. tail. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a bad fan translation. <laughs> it does. Shoot the baby, shoot the baby, shoot the baby. Huh? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. I won't deny it. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I didn't mean by say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about shooting demon babies. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is supposedly a 100% playthrough and it's only 10 episodes long. This is not a long uh, game. It, no, we're not finishing the game today, but still, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's still one more session. And, and But yeah, it's still not a long game, even with um, even with still, 100 yeah. <laughs> Still, that's like yeah, 13 episodes. Yeah, you're not episodes. long, but I just want to tell you <laughs> that there's 13 episodes, not 10. <laughs> well, whatever. It's... <laughs> It's, it's not long game because what? Even like, what, what would be a comparable game to this? Because I Mario sixty four. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair enough. Yeah, I even just did the Mario sixty four thing. You know, when you fall from a height and then you and do you the ground pound, pound right before you hit the, the ground. ground. <laughs> yeah, I just I just did that. I did the spin right before I hit touch the ground, so I wouldn't <laughs> take the fall damage. <laughs> See, what are you it's looking very... for? Very applicable. Um, I'm just scouring the level for precursor orbs, I think. Yeah, there are some over there. Mm. You just missed um, something. Sacred cage. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking about doing like a, um, like, like maybe do like for, because I, I know every once in a while, like, uh, like Ethan, you'll kind of ask if there's like any games we want to record for like a, like a, 
voiceover oh, series yeah? or something like that. I'm almost kind of thinking about doing one for a uh, game. You might have heard of it called Pseudo Regalia. What the fuck? Kingdom Hearts. Never. <laughs> I I feel like I've heard you talk about it before. It's uh, Maybe. it's it's like a 3D platformer, like Metroidvania kind of thing that has like the graphic mm. style of like an N64 or like PlayStation now? One That's kind of cool. game and stuff. And so oh. like you, yeah, and and, and and it's like very platforming based. Like you basically start out with just being able to like move around and jump, but then you get like uh, you get like a slide and a ground pound and like a wall jump and stuff. And I like you like get more stuff as you progress through the game or whatever and. You, you do some really crazy stuff once you get like a lot of the like major upgrades and stuff and it's not a very long game either <laughs> i see like my first time playing it i think was like five or six ish hours but like now that i know where pretty much everything is it would be a lot shorter so i feel like if i were to do a playthrough of it i would probably also do that like as like a 100 percent or whatever okay sure uh pseudo regalia you said right yeah ow Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very fun game. The platforming is very fun and fluid and stuff. And it's like six dollars. Oh, it's not even that expensive of a game. Wolf. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. God it's, damn it, it. The, 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 I would highly recommend giving it a shot if you get the chance. <laughs> no. Okay. It certainly sounds like something I'd enjoy. I do like me my uh, 3D platformers and Metroidvanias and stuff. Just suck at platformers as we have established. Multiple as times. we have, uh, as we has established, yeah. And which surprisingly enough, I think I've said it before, but Sonic Lost World is one of the more platformy Sonic games. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because it's basically Mario Galaxy. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but some, but for some reason, it was not as good as Mario Galaxy. I wonder why. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Sonic always just does bootlegs of other of other games, <laughs> essentially. Essentially, yeah. I keep falling in this goddamn fucking dark eco. I'm yeah, sick of it. Not getting <laughs> Stop drinking the, the grape juice. <laughs> Stop drinking the purple <laughs> drink. Stop drinking the Kool-Aid. I've, I've had enough lean already. <laughs> Summon... Uh, I just I'm, not gonna, that I'm not gonna lie, like, the grape flavor is like a juice or a Powerade, like, I th I think it's fucking good. That's like my favorite flavor right now. It's not bad, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's kind of hard to have a good grape flavored thing. <laughs> uh... That's also true, like, that's why I, I, that's why I said it like that, because I know, like, grape, grape anything gets a lot of stigma for being grape. <laughs> Man, <laughs> yeah. stop being fruited. Um, <laughs> yeah, but like uh, recently, like my favorite Powerade flavor is actually grape. I think it's like the best tasting one. Hmm. Yeah. And also, um, I recently like tried grape juice, I think after so many years. Um, uh -huh. it's because like, you know, <laughs> in theater, you're not supposed to actually drink the alcohol shit. Um, so I feel like if there's ever wine in a show, you use grape juice instead. <laughs> um, no, no, you actually use the wine. You gotta get yourself into a mood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's called method acting. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get, gotta get drunk on stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to get drunk on set. <laughs> <laughs> After like two, five or seven takes, you're like completely plastered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you keep getting it wrong over and over, and so as you're like recording throughout the the, the day, you just get more and more like slurred and shit. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> you've only taken you've only you've only, you've only, like taken one drink in the movie, but you're acting as if you've oh taken my like God. seven. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I hate this platforming section. <laughs> Doesn't seem that good. Not with the, the moves that you have, at least. Nope. Because I really do not like that singular jump. Nero, shoot the child. I would, and I don't trust myself to do the long jump right here. Uh, cause, you know, you have to do that, you have to f f finish out the roll before you do the jump. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's really annoying. But, there we go. Power Cell, finally. 
cat. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Elsewhere in the level. <laughs> Those little fly robot things are essentially the equivalent to the eight uh, red coins in Mario 64. Mm. Wow. Yeah, they're in every level. And uh, when you collect seven of them, um, you get a power cell. The seven Dragon Balls. Level up. The, the seven Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> you mean the Chaos Emerald. <laughs> I actually have one right here. <laughs> Mr. Robot. Okay, chaos <laughs> Control. <laughs> <laughs> if Obama uh, voiced Shadow, well, you see, like the missile strikes are will happen. <laughs> 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 The island will blow up. <laughs> blow up? <laughs> Maria, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, the joke is now Maria, that... I promise you, revenge. <laughs> <laughs> no, I promise the... you, an airstrike. <laughs> the joke is... Hey, chaos with Blast. No, there, there's a joke now, um, with the AI presidents that has come up, um, uh, Michelle Obama's actually a man, and it's called Michael. <laughs> what? I know the origin. I, dude, hold on, I, it's been a while since I've seen the AI president. No, oh, I got but... bored one day, and, like, someone made, someone has made a, like, 20-part playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. Wii of the AI <laughs> president just playing what? it. <laughs> Four player, I watched the entire thing. It was hilarious. <laughs> I it because like I I bet because I know the people who are using that because are like multiple different channels. Which is mm -hmm. so good at them. It was just so funny. <laughs> yeah, and that, that that's what makes it great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They would sometimes invite George Bush to be the blue toad. <laughs> <laughs> there was this. I don't know. Obviously, since I watch a bunch of anime and shit, I got like a bunch of ones that were just present just talking about anime and VTubers. <laughs> yeah. What were their thoughts on Frieza? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> it would be interesting to know, though. <laughs> yeah. Because we all know, we all know the stereotype. If you're a fan of Frieza, it means you're a race. What the? F is that? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. <laughs> I happened. Yeah. <laughs> I, I happened. <laughs> as, as Nathan slowly enters the room, <laughs> <laughs> scouring the fucking lands. Thing. Where the hell is it? It's right there. Saying that like you're actually playing like real time, but you're not. I hate. I you know how wonky this person. control is on the swinging things. No, I never played this game. Well, it, it visually it even looks wonky. <laughs> like I don't know if you're like you're supposed to tilt the stick in a direction if you want to vault to the other pole. But sometimes even that doesn't work, and I go flying off. Is it like timing based, like depending on when you let go. I think I don't really remember. Damn. I don't know. Well, you, you you guys know the meme, right? Of like um, the little cartoon drawing of someone playing Assassin's Creed. It's like, go up 
go up and it's like tilting the stick in all directions and then it's like <laughs> go up and like instead of moving left up or down it just goes away from the wall <laughs> <laughs> jump away from the wall and then the next panel is the controller in the screen I don't think I've seen that <laughs> no oh, it's actually a really cute cartoon I think that might be an Instagram only thing